Hi. So uh, we've covered like the uh, most essential part of uh, the you know uh, Android uh, UI part. I mean, there's a lot uh, else to be done uh, in UI as well. Uh, but the next part that I want to focus on is uh, the concept of intents. Okay. Now intents are uh, really uh, interesting because they help us uh, communicate between two apps or between uh, two activities uh, inside an app. Okay and uh, it's uh, the kind of thing that enables you to uh, when you go to a gallery app and you click on the share button like the photo y you can share that photo uh, to uh, whatsapp or uh, to facebook or something like that and similarly like if you click on a link uh, on a website which is an email link then you get an option to send an email to that person and all of that stuff happens okay so uh, these are like uh, different different uh, intents and uh, you know uh, intents help us communicate uh, from one app to another like if i uh, want the android operating system to take me from one uh, application into another application or even from one activity to another activity of my application that's where uh, intents uh, come into the picture so we will uh, be uh, taking a look at uh, intents uh, right now uh, okay uh, so to do that i think the first thing that we'll do is we'll actually create two activities okay so i call uh, one as the main activity and let me create another activity uh, called uh, so I'll just go new activity and I'll create another uh, empty activity and I will call this as let's say uh, you know red activity okay uh, and it will create a layout file as well and uh, package name and all of that is fine so uh, the name of it is uh, red activity so I add uh, the red activity here now what to do with the red activity is um, in my activity red.xml file uh, I'm just gonna use a simple frame layout here okay uh, so what to do in the red activity is uh, in this frame layout I'll just set a background color to uh, red uh, how I can do that is uh, there are some default colors that exist inside Android you can write Android uh, color slash red like this as uh, so this hollow red dark hollow red light like that okay you can write uh, directly like this as well ff0000 uh, that gives red color as well uh, but i think uh, using one of these default colors in android is also a good idea okay now uh, if you look at the design it will turn the entire background of your screen uh, to red color okay this is my red activity okay so what i want is in my main activity to have a button uh, clicking on which it will take me to the red activity okay so how do we do uh, that right so uh, let's talk about the main activity inside the main activity also let me create a frame layout instead of a constraint layout a constraint layout we don't need here let me remove this uh, text view right and i will put a button here which will wrap wrap the content and i will give a layout gravity of uh, center okay and in this button i will uh, give uh, the text which says uh, go red okay and i will give uh, in this uh, button as well uh, some you know id which is uh, button uh, go red like this uh, to access these uh, as uh, we know again we can go to our uh, module gradle file add uh, the kotlin android extensions uh, which uh, allow us to basically you know access uh, things via id in my activity so in my uh, main activity i will uh, essentially i will write that uh, button uh, go red dot set on click listener and here uh, we will write the code for how to go from uh, one activity to another activity so to do that what we have to do is we have to create an intent uh, so we create a new intent uh, using uh, the intent constructor and we have to pass we'll use this uh, fourth one package context and class one so we'll pass a uh, context again for context we can use this as we have seen already because my activity is a context uh, and the second thing is i will be using uh, the class of the um, the activity to which i want to go to okay so uh, here we add the activity from where i'm creating the intent and the second parameter i add the activity to which i want to go to now uh, the, the activity that i want to go to is basically red activity and i write red activity uh, dot class dot java like this okay 
so uh, you know this notation uh, you know you can uh, look about what this notation is about it basically references the java class of red activity uh, although red activity is defined in kotlin but essentially when uh, we'll be running our code on android it will be running on a java virtual machine kind of a thing so uh, that's why this uh, notation it basically refers to the it's a reference to the class okay um, so so we get an intent like this and then we uh, call this function start activity and inside start activity we pass our intent okay so that would uh, make us go from one activity to the other when we uh, click on that start that's essentially that's supposed to do uh, so whether it does that or not is something we will uh, quickly uh, check so let me just uh, run our app and see what happens when i open uh, the main activity and click on this go to red button and where does it take us okay this is my activity main uh, this is how it looks like it has this uh, go to red button uh, go red button at the center of the screen uh, clicking on that uh, it's supposed to take me to activity red All right so uh, let's wait for this uh, to get built and it's i think running right now so here we go uh, if i click on go red so it opens the other activity and if i click on back i will come back to the old activity okay this is how uh, going from one activity to another activity looks like you can see the animation that we are changing activities here it's a different screen uh, though the other one is a different screen uh, like that you can uh, see that and uh, you can give activities a title as well uh, so for example uh, if i take my activity red if i go to my android manifest so there is uh, something called an android manifest here if i look at my um, activity red uh, there's an activity created for that like this uh, i can actually give it a label so if i give uh, the label here as uh, you know uh, we are red like this if you give it a label so what does this label essentially uh, do uh, you just see i'll just restart my uh, app okay so it's a restarted if i click on go red so you see uh, the label of an activity is what shows up at the top of the screen by default like this so the older uh, uh, page this uh, the label of this is it's just simply taking it from the name of the app uh, the application label so application label automatically is used inside an activity unless in an activity you override and specify its own label so the red activity has specified its own label so it becomes like a red activity uh, like this here okay 